lettuce. I'm doing lettuce, lettuce. Yeah. yeah, this is lettuce. So we're planting in rows, okay? Right. Um, over there, we've got the, actually two rows of yam. Right. Yeah, we planted yams here. Yeah? Right. And they'll plant it, the second row is um, cuckoo yam. Right. And then um, we've got potatoes as well. Okay. The third row. Right. The third row. Third row. And, and the then you had, I think you had oranges, uh, oranges, onions, and garlic in the fourth row. Hi guys, welcome to Asher and Gad channel. Making Africa home again, one family at a time. On site today um a lot, lots going on but before i, I carry on just like to, as usual thank every single subscriber who likes our channels comments subscribes likes and shares sends us emails you're all appreciated love for the love thanks every every individual person who uh, contributes to us via paypal and patreon as well love for the love all appreciated so today we're on site today getting our hands dirty doing our gardening and our farming so let's give you a little update to see how things are going let me just turn the camera around so you can see for yourself so here we are guys this is the front of the house and as you can see the carpet grass has been laid first stages of the carpet grass has been laid all along the house is really um beginning to develop the, the beauty okay that's what that's all being laid we've got some um some cactus going on around the back and um we are currently putting together plantation for the farm area now if you're like me and your eyes are open to what's happening in the world you know that uh, food is becoming a little bit uh, very very expensive there's a hike significant hike in food prices you know we are living in a season of hyperinflation as i keep on saying significant hike hike in food prices shortage of foods are already beginning across the world you know i see articles in the uk uh, and obviously it's all being directed towards what is happening you know in the war uh, but uh, Anyway, there's, there's lots happening. All I'm saying is that uh, it might be worth having some extra food and extra water wherever you are in the world. It is wise to do so in these times because you don't know what's going to happen. And obviously, if you can plant, even better. Plant for yourself. Be independent with food, with water if you can, and with electric if you can. But most important, food. You know, I, I guess you can live without electricity, really. If, if worse comes to worse, you can live without electricity. But obviously, you can't live without water and you need a bit of food. So, without any further ado, let's go to the farm area and see what the guys are up to. Let's see what Gad is up to. So happening, guys. So happening. What are you planting there? Is the cauliflower? I've done that already. So this is parsley. Parsley. Yeah. Okay, and the and the broccoli is planted. Yes, I think you're standing where the broccoli was planted. Broccoli. Okay, great mm -hmm. stuff. This is baby. Yeah. Uh, this okay. So guys, here we got a large farm area. Here, as you know, we kind of divided it up as much as possible so around the uh, the perimeter we've got various uh, trees if you like i can't remember what this one is but this is this is uh hmm i don't know what this is to be fair that has to tell you but a number of trees planted that is definitely avocado because i love avocado that's avocado there oh yes that's that's a man that's a mango right yes this this come back to this this is a mango as well so you've got two mango trees of different different varieties. I think they call one a Kent mango and one a sort of local mango. I love the local ones. Pretty, really, really, really juicy. Um, I've already shown the, the bananas and the plantains. Hey guys, this is the D-Day planting season for me. And yeah, we've got everything ready. 
and I'm so excited. I got my friends helping me and I'm really, really excited about that. So like we said, this bed is ready, very, very ready. So we've done vegetables already. And um, now I'm doing, this is, um, actually this is lettuce. I'm doing lettuce, lettuce. here. Lettuce. Yeah, this is lettuce. So we're planting in rows, okay? Right. Um, over there, we got the, actually two rows of yam. Right. Yeah, we planted yams here. Yeah? Right. And they'll plant it. The second row is um cookie yam. Right. And then um, we've got potatoes as well. Okay. The third row. Right. The third row. Third and, row. And the then you had I think you had oranges and uh, oranges, onions and garlic in the fourth row. Didn't you? Yes. Onions and garlic in the fourth row. Yes. So here are my lettuce my lettuce i thought i had cabbage but i didn't but that's okay i'm not quite a fan of cabbage anyway i don't know it's all the se all the seeds you brought over yeah now i'm planting the seeds i brought over but i went to the market and i bought some green pepper and red pepper other types of pepper which i planted and yeah. also planted um ginger ginger yeah so ginger is in one of the vegetable beds isn't it yeah i'll show you Because I want everything to be organized, so I'm doing them in rows. Right, okay. Yeah. Yes. It's a good thing we had rains yesterday, so because obviously the soil has been mixed. Okay. Wow. So I'm a friend of the soil. <laughs> No I was telling, I was telling the guys, you know, what's going on in, in the world with the food prices and the coming food shortages, as, as they keep on saying. So we, we need to get food secure, guys. Absolutely, food secure is necessary. Wait, what's, what's, what's this tree here? What's so that's guava. Oh, that's guava. Okay. Hey guys, you know, I kept talking about my guava. So I've yes. got my guava here. Actually, I got two. Two guavas. Yes. Okay. And then we've got we've got pineapple along along the along the edge here. Oh, look at these pineapple heads all along the edge here. We've got, we've got a cocoa co yam, a, a stray cocoa yam here. I think that is a bitter, bitter leaf. You call that bitter leaf, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's bitter leaf there. That one there, a pineapple there, a cocoa yam there, a bit of a mix. And a pineapple heads being planted all along the all along the edge. Um, babes, what's this? What's this? Oh, paw paw. Oh, is that? Ah. Is that, is that the one the guy gave you from uh... yeah. okay what, are, what, what what have you planted in your vegetable garden let's let the guys know what's in there get it a bit straight yeah hi guys so over here i got my you know i kept talking about my uku vegetables so i got them here actually they were sprouting already i had like 20 20 seeds so luckily enough for me, they, they began to sprout and I planted it. So I got two beds, two beds, this and that for the ugu vegetables. Oh, lots, lots of greens then. Yes. And here I've got them. This is a, this is a, I think peppers. No, Mesema yeah. or no? Here I've got peppers. Peppers? Yeah. Mesema, is that, is it peppers in here? Yes, that's peppers. D different types of peppers. Yes. Yes. And also, um, yeah, green peppers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, I've got my tomatoes. Tomatoes, okay. Yeah, I've got tomatoes. Need loads of those. Yeah. And then, <laughs> over here, I've got, sorry, what do we have? To, tomatoes. What is there? And what? Okay, this is tomatoes. So, so guys over here, we've got tomatoes. All of these beds. We're gonna have lots and lots of. So, so this was actually yeah. what? As a correction. Peppers. Okay. Peppers. Peppers. Yeah. So this is this. Peppers. So we're actually right. Different types of peppers. Okay, that's yeah. tomato. Okay. Yeah. And the last one. The last one. This is ginger. Ginger. Oh yes, we need a bit of that. All of it. Oh, the whole thing is ginger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Loads of lo loads of sobolo, guys. <laughs> if if you're not from Ghana. You need to when you come to Ghana, make sure you have sobolo 
absolutely fantastic kick that kick any virus out of your system what about this one this talk about less what about this Hi guys, so this is my coconut. This is your what? Coconut. Is it a, is it the, the dwarf, the dwarf type? Oh, yes, I see. Okay. Yes, the other day, and then this is um, avocado. An avocado. Yes. This, this we actually planted in the house. Yes. And it's grown this tall. Honestly, avocados do very well here. They just sprout like anything. Yeah, yeah. You get you get a lovely, lovely organic avocados. It's very, very buttery. Nice. I've got some sprouting as well. What, what's that? Avocado. Avocado as well. Happy this. days. Yeah, and this another coconut. Yes. And this is also an avocado we planted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so what? So what? So what's what's going on with all this? All this along here. What's so the plan here? Ficus. So what it is is that. Ficus. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to create a hedge. Okay. Around here, so when you're in the house, you don't really see the garden because these ficus, they're oh. also going to grow. It will sort of hide the farm. You mean? Yes. It will right. hide the farm. So okay. I'll let them grow. So okay. I got ficus, I got bitter leaf. At the end of the day, I'm still gonna put cherry, cherry plants there. Right. You know, okay. to serve as a, okay. a border or a hedge. Let's see. What's that? Yeah. What's that? What's that plant that you said that you plant when you you? It's a sugar replacement. You can eat it, and if you don't want to have sugar, you eat it and it's sweet. Yeah. You don't need to have any. It's you don't. Called, you don't. Um, is this sugar apple? No, it's not sugar apple. Sorry, I'm gonna get the name of the plant guys now. Let you know. So this, that, this is the plant. What, this one yes the fruits come like berries right yes so sweet sweet berry sweet berry something like that right so with this plant when you eat the berry just suck it it's like sugar so when you drink anything when you drink water it tastes like sugar anything you eat tastes like sugar. Sweet. Okay. so if you don't really want to eat sugar just take it suck it and you eat it tastes like sugar it takes a while for it to to wear off your mouth yes yeah. huh. the blocks the blocks are coming along this is the um the gas enclosure guys we have lifted it up on a on a sort of concrete block which will um so it's nice and firm in there and the pavement will come around it to to, to match that level okay all done somebody was asking about the connection details but well, if i just zoom in i'll just zoom in there You've got a green pipe which with the gas to carry and you got a single connection there but one cylinder, cylinder at a time, you just open up the gas flows. That green pipe runs through the through the ground itself. Okay, through the ground itself, and then up and then into the into the kitchen through the back wall. Obviously that would be plastered. And then you just connect it up into the um the, the, the gas cooker itself. Alright. Um I'll show you try and show you the other side of it actually. Let's try and show you the other side of it. This is more more avocado we need to plant. That looks good actually. Guys, this is the walk-in closet um, in progress. Should be done in a couple of days' time. We'll do a separate video on that for you guys to see what we've been up to. Guys, let's just give you a, uh, an update of the uh, number of blocks that we've had. But before we do that, let's just take a short break. We'll be right back. Are you looking to build your dream home in Ghana? Or are you building already? Would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports. 
Well, if that's the case, and that's you, look no further, Asher & Gag Consultancy at your service. We offer the following services, electrical design, construction monitoring inspections, site progress reports, consultation for all items MEP, witnessing of testing and commissioning, periodic snagging, vetting of specialist subcontractors. Report, we also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much, much more. Get in contact for your building needs, details on the screen, Asher & Gag Consultancy, make in Africa home again, one family at a time. Guys, so far, 12,400 12, blocks. 12,400 blocks. Just under half. We need 26,050 blocks. So maybe, how many weeks to go? Just one, week. one week. One week. Okay. One week to get to the end of next week to get 26,050 and then how, how many weeks to um to to to, to lay it two weeks to lay to 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 to, to prepare the land to compact to put the damp proof membrane and then to lay two weeks so we're looking to, the end of next week is the 6th of may so th we're looking by the 20th of may wow okay that's fine well, that's good. Cheaper than buying, so yeah. All right, guys, there you go. There you have it, guys. Another site update is over. Uh, we're getting there by the grace of the, the Yehoah Almighty. Um, as you, you saw, under staircase storage going on, walk-in closet going on. Um, didn't show you the didn't show you the laundry area. I'll probably do that on another on another update. As usual, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so you always be aware when you upload a new and educational video for your viewing pleasure. So from, from God, it's Kemesia, and from me, guys, Yebeshia. See you next time.